You never stood a chance, undead. Now without your master you shall... Wait, why are there still undead? Shouldn't they have died with Ardol? No, that means... I am not done yet. Damn you, Rich, I will... Uh... The undead make haste to retreat to back to the dead mountain. The orcs have destroyed the imperial defenses and now the demons use this opportunity to conquer the rest of lore. Meanwhile it begins to snow and an unholy creature watches the events with great interest. Hmm. I have to admit that not even I was able to see this coming. I wonder if Ardon knew it would come to this. Choices have been made by the undead. Although they didn't affect the grand events, they do make some difference. Let's see. Ardon the Watcher. He's one of the key characters. I'm well aware of that. He's one of the most dangerous creatures of Arcane. I always knew that he was an opponent that shouldn't be underestimated. He made the Nerubians think that they were free, while in fact he set them free so they would lay more eggs. Then he caught them and turned them into undead. Cruel, isn't it? I wonder if his victory even mattered, since the Soeter Legion arrived with an even more powerful force. Much more powerful. Ardon killed Progadarus the Smoking while fighting Ornassian. Since the Fire Lord has the habit of returning after his death, Ardon might have to pay for that later. Still, none of his actions prevented the demons from starting their invasion. However, the war isn't over yet. I admit, I had no idea that Margazar was in fact an undead, serving Ardon's cause. I am almost assured that the Watcher has kept even more secrets from me. I wonder if it'll help him. The elf, Zephyr, denied Verengar's order to destroy the tunnel the Iron Fist wanted to destroy. While Verengar had no right to make a choice like that, will they regret it? Will the demons use this path to attack them? Rahander decided to destroy the outpost of the Darkwind clan. This outpost was used to breed new vibrants to fight the Imperials. Still, the orcs won against the Imperials. Perhaps this was a mistake after all. The undead have defeated the Ravaging Fire Clan because they didn't want to be noticed. However, didn't this attack actually make the orcs notice the undead? Since Zermak, the chieftain of the Ravaging Fire Clan, survived, there might be a vengeful attack one day. The undead have taken control of an Imperial called Sir Ross. I wonder how a useless knight will help them. The Imperials will think that he's either dead or a traitor. Lord Vengar. He was a useless creature. He thought he could make important decisions while having only limited power. Well, now he's dead. Before he died though, he and his undead destroyed both the Imperial and the Orcish fleets. He didn't deal with all witnesses, so the undead are no longer a secret. There's no turning back for them now. They cannot simply manipulate everyone and stay out of the actual conflicts. Never again. Well, the undead made some interesting choices, didn't they? But will they have a chance of winning the war? Only time will tell, I guess. I'll be here to watch and manipulate the events. There's still much to be done. For now I'm done here. There's still much to be done. <laughs>